travel, some sticky situations can always arise, right? Well, for answers to these questions, joining us live, Dear Trip Advisor herself, Leslie Carlin, a columnist with Scripps Howard News Service. Thanks for waking up early with us. We have a question coming in saying, can you give me some tips for baggage claim etiquette? Recently, I helped my mom retrieve her luggage, and the baggage claim was just a zoo. Yeah, yeah, baggage claim can be confusing because a lot of people don't use it all that often. I think the main thing to remember is step back from that moving carousel belt. Um, it's a lot easier for everyone to see and grab their bags if people aren't kind of pressed up right against that. Um, other things you can do, um, make sure that your bag looks distinctive. That way you don't have to pick up, you know, every single black wheeled suitcase that goes by to check if it's yours. That tends to make other people nervous if they see you grabbing their bags. Um, and also, uh, just one quick tip, remember that in order to pick up your luggage, you have to bend over. So when you're thinking about what you're going to wear that day, it might not be the best day for a short miniskirt or for your lowest rise jeans. <laughs> good points, good points. Now another person writes in saying, I went on vacation with some friends. We split the cost of a rental car. However, to save money, we decided only my friend Tom would drive. The rental car company charged more for additional authorized drivers. Well now, one night, Tom got a hefty speeding ticket. We've been home a week, and last night, I get an email from Tom saying he wants me and my friends to help him pay that fine. I don't think we should have to pay. What do you think, though, Leslie? Um, well, I think when somebody does all the driving for a group, it's nice for the people who are passengers to do some things to show they appreciate it. But by that, I mean, like, you buy him dinner. <laughs> it doesn't extend to paying for his speeding tickets. Um, yeah, I mean, you weren't there in the front seat holding his foot to the floor, so I think the driver is the only person responsible for the speeding tickets. All right, well, I'm not sure if this next one is a question or a suggestion. Could you remind people to wear shoes they can <laughs> remove quickly in the TSA line? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, in a lot of the country, it's getting colder, and that means people are breaking out the boots. Uh, not a great idea if you're going to the airport, though. They can be kind of difficult to put on and remove, and uh, that holds up the line. But maybe always pack your patients if you see an older couple yeah. or maybe a couple with young children. Give them a little extra time. Leslie Carlin, oh, yeah. thanks so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank Rebecca. you. All right.